The New York Knicks dropped their fourth straight Wednesday night to the Orlando Magic 118-100. And we're here to talk to our Knicks beat, beat writer, Stefan Bondi, about the game. Steph, how you doing, man? Great, man. Great. Listen, Avoiding uh, the snow. Yeah, exactly. Avoiding the snow. Um, four straight losses. This team, injuries piling up. Bogdanovich was out tonight. Arn, uh, Hartenstein and DiVincenzo both out tonight as well. Uh, what more can you say about this team and as they're limping their way into the all-star break and, and the, the status that this team is currently in right now? Yeah, I mean, you said it. They're limping into the all-star break. They got a long infirmary line, a long injury report, um, and they could really use this um, all-star break. It's coming at a good time for them because, as Tib said, they need to recharge, and they re need to recharge their bodies most of all because um, they were missing – six of their top eight players today, which is pretty crazy. And, um, you know, it showed on the court. Certainly when the reserves came in, it was it was tough defensively when you got Jacob Toppin and Taj Gibson as your front court players um, playing against NBA, cal uh, NBA caliber bench. And it really came – it really hurt the Knicks uh, in the second quarter when the game just got away from them. Yeah, you could see, obviously, even with, with Brunson putting in 33 points tonight, it just wasn't enough from the rest of the team to get the scoring for them. Uh, are you concerned at all about the injuries that are piling up? I know I know that's a, kind of a, an easy question to answer, but how concerning overall is it, though, the fact that more and more of these players are banged up and, you know, there's been that, that, that MO with – Tibbs teams, he wears them down a little bit. Are you concerned with them as they get to the All-Star? So I'm going to stop you there. What do you mean by – can you explain what you mean by that? Like Tibbs playing his, his starters too much and that his starters wear down. Well, have you, guys... looked at, have you looked at the numbers? I mean, how different are his starters playing compared to Boston starters or any other starters? I think that's just a complete misnomer. Um, in the last week, the starters have played a little bit more just because – the con the situation is called for it. But if you look for the numbers, it's just a ridiculous statement to say that he plays the starters more than anybody else. Cause he doesn't. So if people are going to say that Tibbs is wearing these guys down, at least bring me evidence to suggest that that's the case. Listen, that's all they, I'm just bringing what the fans say about what it. What fans, what fans are you talking about? I mean, it's on sports talk radio every single day in, in New York well, sports. And I know they're misinformed, but I, that's why I asked those questions to you. So, if you're not concerned, uh, what can you say about this team heading into the second second half? Well, it's more than the second half of the season, but after the All-Star break, what are your expectations for this team as they try to get healthy down the stretch? Well, I, I think there's two different things. Um, it's not that I, I'm not concerned about the minutes being played from the starters. I am concerned about some of the injuries, though. Um, and one of I'm concerned mostly about OG Ananobi's elbow and Mitchell Robinson's foot. I think at this point, Julius, it's pretty clear Julius Randle is really fighting to come back as quickly as possible. Uh, OG Ananobi is going to come back from arth arthroscopic surgery. I've, I've said it before. He's the kind of guy that he's going to make sure that he's feeling 100% before he gets back on the court. I don't know when that's going to be. I don't think the Knicks know when that's going to be right now. And Mitchell Robinson, he's obviously – this is his second surgery on his different foot. And you have a, a situation with a big man who's having – multiple foot surgeries. Yes, that is very much a concern. So I am concerned with those two guys in particular. I'm also concerned with Julius Randle because that's the type of injury when you don't have surgery and there's a, you know, you dislocate your shoulder, you're highly susceptible to doing it again. So he's, um, you know, he's a, he's a physical player. He's going to bang down low and how's he going to come back from an injury like that? Is he, is he going to be sensitive to that? Is it, could it, Re, he could he re aggravate the injury? I don't know. So I am concerned about those three guys. And finally, Jalen Brunson, uh, you know, putting up an MVP type year. What more can you say about his season that he's putting forth on this team, leading them into contention here in the East? And ultimately, do you see the Knicks team finishing in that? Does the seeding matter much to you? But do you finish them in the top three, top four in the East, currently sitting in the fourth? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they can get there. It all depends on their health. And, um, yeah, it is important. I think it's important to somehow, if they can avoid it, do not play Boston until the conference finals. Boston is the cream of the Eastern Conference. So if you can get in that 2-3 spot and you don't have to see Boston until the, the third round, that isn't an ideal situation to be in. I I think, the, you know, Giannis Antetokounmpo is a hell of a player. 
Um, but Milwaukee's enough of a mess where they fired their coach already. So if I'm looking at the Eastern Conference, I'm saying I don't want to play the Boston Celtics. And and that's how I approach the seating. And I don't know what the, what the Knicks are thinking, but in my mind, the two, three spot is is the place where the Knicks want to be. Steph, we appreciate you as always giving us some time. I know uh, the All-Star break's coming at a good time for the Knicks, like you said, and we're looking forward to seeing how the rest of the season plays out for them. Thank you as always, man. All right, man. Thank you.